Good morning, church. Good morning. You can go ahead and have a seat. We are getting ready to celebrate. We have three baptisms this morning. Three people are getting baptized. Now, the greatest decision any of us can make is to follow Jesus, to put your trust in Jesus. It's by faith alone in Christ alone that you are saved. And then that's the start of a relationship with God. After you know God, there's some steps to grow in your faith. Baptism is one of those steps. It could be that you're here today and you haven't put your trust in Jesus. Today is a day of salvation. Don't harden your heart. It could also be today that you know Jesus, but now you're watching other people get baptized and you want to make that decision to get baptized. It's inspiring when people get baptized. And this is a step of faith. Baptism doesn't earn salvation. Jesus was baptized in water. He wants all of his followers to be baptized in water. Why? It's the public declaration that Jesus is my Savior and Lord. There's first an internal decision and then a public declaration. And there's a picture here of being in the water and coming up, and it reminds us of Jesus' death and resurrection. The victory is the Lord's. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He continues to change lives. And we have three people to get ready to be baptized now. So Kwa is going to be first. Kwa, let's welcome Kwa. There you go. There you go. There you go. Nice and steady. You can sit right over here. And uh, you're doing well. You're doing well. Hey, Kwa, uh, Melita's going to read his testimony. But uh, Kwa, take a look around. You got your whole church family cheering you on today. It's an exciting day, an amazing day. All right, so such a beautiful day. Um, we're, test we're baptizing Kwa this morning. And outside of his scripture, um, John 3.16, such a faithful scripture that we're all so familiar with. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but to love the world through him. Amen? And yes. then he says, my name is Quam, and I am choosing to be baptized on today. He's excited to be an example a positive, of a positive change and love through our Christ Jesus. He's choosing today because back in the day, amen, amen. Uh -huh. <laughs> He did not have a sense of purpose, but now he does. Amen? We all can understand that. He chose this verse because he's telling everyone that God has set him aside and set him free. Amen? Mm -hmm. I have overcome the world, God has said. And he's choosing this verse because it resonates with him deeply. Amen? That's it. That's Go it. Go ahead, Pastor. Yes. Kwa, I just want you to look around again, take in this moment. God is with you. God's blessings on your life today is powerful. I know Peggy's cheering you on as well. You have a lot of people who prayed for you. You've responded. Jesus died for your sins. He's risen. This is your relationship with the Lord. I'm just going to ask you, is Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior? Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. I am so thrilled, and it's just a, a joy to baptize you now in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. That's it. That's it. <laughs> amen. Amen. Thank you, Max. Come on, Haley. Y'all give it up for Haley one time. Uh huh. Hey Amen. Just to give you guys a scope, these are three young adults in a in a world that tells them that this isn't popular, this isn't good to do, that maybe you should go out and live and do a lot of partying and all these things. They're deciding in this season of their life at an early age, all of them under the age of 22, saying that I want to live for Jesus Christ because I want to be an example for what he is. So let's give these young adults a hand for that. And once again, um, a scripture that has resonated with her and has just got her to this season. Another very important and a very uh, foundational scripture, Psalms 23. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. 
He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters and restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valleys of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou make me lie down in green pasture, and he leads me beside the still water. Amen. That's, that's it. We, we know that. Such a beautiful testimony. And then she ends with saying, my name is Haley. I'm devoting myself to God today. The reason I have chosen him is because I used to carry so much anger and resentment. I had a lot of trouble forgiving myself and forgiving others who's been there. Amen. Since I opened my heart to God, he has healed me. He's healed my soul. And I couldn't in ways I couldn't understand. That's why I love that scripture. The Lord is my shepherd. Amen. All right, Haley. Do you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> we now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Next up, we have Jaden. Can you guys give Jaden a hand? All right, such a beautiful last one for today. God is so good. And we're ending in Hosea. That was her scripture of choice. Hosea 14, one through seven. Return Israel to the Lord, O God. Your sins have been your downfall. We take words with you and return to the Lord. Say to him, forgive all of our sins and receive us graciously that we may offer the fruits of our lips. Asariah cannot save us. We will not amount war horses. We will never again say our God to what our own hands have made. For in you, the fatherless find compassion, amen. I will hear heal their waywardness and love them freely for my anger has not turned away from them i will be like dew to israel he will blossom like a lily like a cedar of lebanon he will send down his roots his young shoots will grow his splendor will be like olive trees his fragrance like cedar of lebanon people will dwell again in his shade they will flourish like grain they will blossom like vine. Israel fame will be like the wine of Lebanon. Such a beautiful scripture. Amen. All right, Jane. <laughs> I love that for you so much. Do you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes, sir. <laughs> we now baptize your name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hey man, let's give let's 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 give these guys a bigger round of applause. Like they're the Seahawks or something. They just giving their life to Jesus. Give them a praise. Amen. Amen. Good morning, church family. Good morning. We've got some celebrating to do together. We continue to worship God through baptism. And the greatest decision any of us can make is to follow Jesus. It's by faith in Christ, Christ alone and faith alone, that we are saved. We don't do anything to achieve this. We receive this grace. Jesus died for our sins. Jesus is risen. He's our Savior. And if you're here today and you haven't made that decision, today's the day of salvation. Don't harden your heart. Today is the day of salvation. Now, once you make that decision, you've started a relationship with God. And there's a lot of ways to grow in your faith. Baptism is one of those ways to grow. And Jesus himself was baptized in the Jordan River. He told all of his followers to be baptized. We had three young adults baptized at nine o'clock. It was so inspiring. 
and from that, more people want to get baptized. So if you haven't been baptized and you watch this baptism today and you want to get baptized, let us know and we will walk with you so you can take that next joyful step in a relationship with God. Baptism doesn't save, but it's the outward way that you're letting everyone know you're going public with your faith. Jesus is your savior. It's an inward decision that can't stay inward. It's outward. We publicly declare that Jesus is Lord. And we do that together as one family. Today, Danielle is ready to get baptized. Can we welcome Danielle into the water? <clears throat> That's it. T take your time, Danielle. Take your time. There you go. Great job. Steady. That's it. That's it. Excellent. And you can have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Danielle, take a look around. You have your whole church family, your family here with you cheering you on lots of love lots of love <laughs> you know almost everyone that's baptized feels kind of nervous and that's normal we all do but the presence and joy of the lord through baptism and danielle's been thinking about baptism for a while she's been coming to grace for three months we're so glad she's part of our church family and the way she describes it is jesus is right here in her heart and there's a verse in Revelation chapter 3, verse 20. And Jesus said, I stand at the door and knock, knocking at the door of our heart. And if anyone hears my voice and opens up the door, I am with you. And we welcome Jesus into our lives. That's what Danielle has done. She loves to come to church. She loves to worship God. She looks forward to worshiping together as a church family. And she is ready to be baptized and make this decision to honor Jesus. Danielle, it's a great joy today to celebrate with you. You know, when someone turns to Jesus, the angels in heaven rejoice. And all of heaven's excited. So this is a great party, not only in this room, but in heaven as well. Danielle, I'm just going to ask you one question. Is Jesus your Lord and Savior? Yes. I know he is. I know he is. That's it. If you could see the conviction and the sincerity in her eyes, you would know there's no doubt. And Danielle, it's my joy now to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes, that's it. That's it. Give the Lord praise. Hey, as we're celebrating, before we turn our attention to the screen for announcements, will you turn to the person next to you and just say, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you.